what's up everybody welcome back to my channel if you're interested on how i did this red lip look right here then stay tuned and keep on watching starting off i'm taking my Too faced lip injections applying that real quick to my lips so they're plumper and then you know the deal i'm taking my eyeshadow primer by urban decay and i'm just going to blend it out on my eyelids to give me a nice base for my eyeshadow now that my eyeshadow base is all blended, we're going in James Charles palette and we're taking this color and we're going to put this all over the lid. Since I am doing a bold lip, I am going to do a lighter eyeshadow look because to me, if I have a dark eyeshadow look and a dark lip, it just clashes to me. But I am going to deepen it up a little bit with the shades here and apply that to the outer corner and basically create my shape and blend it in. So it looks nice and seamless, but it still looks like something's there, you know? Now I'm just using my finger to mix this gold with the other gold that's in the palette and then I'm just going to put that all over my eyelid. When using my finger to apply glitters and stuff like this, I feel like it just makes the color pop a little bit more for some reason. It depends on the eyeshadow but for this one I just like using my finger. And then I'm just taking a deeper color and then I'm just going to blend that glitter out so it's not so messy and it looks more cleaned up. You feel me? Now I'm just taking some Lash Paradise Mascara and applying that to my top lashes before I add some falsies. I'm taking some foundation by ColourPop. This one, it looks like it matches me on camera, but in reality, it looks pretty dark. Even though this foundation looks pretty dark, I'm gonna blend it out anyways, because once I apply some powder and concealer, it should hopefully brighten it up. Now I'm just taking a sponge after the foundation brush I like to use a sponge to press in the product so it looks natural and less cakey. Now I'm just taking my e.l.f. concealer, this is the camel concealer, and I'm going to apply that into the very inner corner of my eye. And then I am also going to kind of clean up along the line of my eyeshadow where I want it to be sharpened and then I'll blend it out with a sponge. Before I use a sponge to blend it out, I'm just taking a different shade and putting that in my inner corner and then my cupid's bow, my chin, my nose, and my forehead just to highlight those areas and brighten them up a bit. After blending everything out, I'm just going to set it with some setting powder. As usual, if you know, this setting powder is just a mixture of a bunch of different setting powders. Now I'm just taking a face powder that matches my skin 
and I'm just going to put that all over my face just to set the rest of my face so it's not all cakey and oily and it looks like it matches my actual skin. Now I'm just applying some Dollar Lashes Sabrina on and then I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the powder I had baking on my face. Now I am just going in with my Fit Me powder. This is in the shade 360 and I'm just going to use that to basically sculpt out my face using this big brush right here. And I know what you're thinking. I'm not going to get a nice blend and it's going to be too harsh and whatever. But it works for me. I like it. I feel like it really speeds up the process of sculpting and then I usually do just clean it up with some setting powder when I'm done. But I'm just taking this eyeshadow brush and I am going to contour my nose so that it is snatched and I'm applying that excess product from the eyeshadow brush and I'm just putting it on the back of my hand just to make sure I'm not going in with too much product so it doesn't look too harsh. Now I'm just taking a different eyeshadow brush, one that is a little bit more fluffy and less flat, and I'm just gonna blend everything on my nose out. To sharpen and clean up the contour, I'm going in with some setting powder and my sponge, and I'm just going to basically clean it up like so. While that powder bakes, we're gonna go move on to the lash line. I'm just taking that color out of my James Charles palette and applying it with a small fluffy brush and I'm putting that on my lower lash line. I'm using the same fluffy brush but I'm going in for a deeper color and again, I'm just gonna blend that in with the other color on my lower lash line. Using the same mascara that I used earlier, I'm just gonna apply that to my lower lashes so they look like they're there. And then I'm also going to blend my false lashes in with my real ones. So now that the powder is done setting, I'm just gonna press it in and then blend it out so it doesn't look like a harsh white line there, it looks more natural. Now I'm just taking some blush and I'm smiling so I could see the apples of my cheek and I'm pretty much blending it in with the contour a little bit just so it doesn't look like a weird space between the two. And then I also like applying it to my nose and sometimes the rest of my face but I didn't do that today. And then we're going to take some highlights and highlight our face. Now I'm just taking a lip liner, it's the closest I got to red right now and it doesn't have a name on it unfortunately. But I'm just basically lining my lips before I apply the red because the red is a bold color and I want it to be neat when I apply it. Before applying the lip liner I did wipe off the plumping gloss that I had to make my lips a little bit more plump and bigger. And then I am also overlining both my top and bottom lip. Now I'm just taking my red YSL lipstick in the shade 21. It is this weird shape, so it's hard to apply directly on the lips, but it is a nice color and it is a very nice formula. But because I want a neater, application I am just going to use a lip brush to apply it and then later on for more pigment I will go in directly in some areas with the lipstick.
this is a high-end lipstick but I do love it very much it is very creamy it is moisturizing it is very pigmented it is worth the coin even though it costs a little bit out my budget but it's okay sometimes you gotta live the bougie life and spoil or spoil yourself so that's what we did here and I like it so this is the final look I hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.